Now we're walking up the causeway to to Jeffrey's Pyramid. This is the smallest of the three. Uh, it's pretty pretty epic. Again, this is something a lot of people don't get to walk on. So stick around. We're gonna go see these pyramids. For some reason, I had the name De Jeffrey in my head when I was making this video, so you're gonna keep hearing me say that, but it was actually Coffrey. De Jeffrey was Coffrey's brother, I do believe. This is some tough walk in here. <laughs> we are walking up on the funerary temple or the mortuary temple of the Jeffrey. To think all of this used to be nice and smooth and easily walkable. <laughs> uh, man. It's a workout out here in the desert. <laughs> it's finally, this is like the first nice day I've had here in Egypt. on this trip so we are now at the mortuary temple for Jedefre it's not all that interesting to look at but at one point in time I'm sure this thing was absolutely stunning It's kind of interesting. Lots of lots of graffiti and stuff. A lot of stuff that's just been carved out, which is kind of sad. But there was a point in time when they just thought all of these things would just come to life at night and try to kill you and everything. <laughs> yeah, there was a point in time when people were not very intelligent. <laughs> Yeah, look at those casing stones. They're all made out of red granite from Aswan. That's so cool. It must have been crazy getting those here. We're still in a spot where a lot of people don't set their feet. I can tell because there aren't very many foot tracks here. But uh, yeah, there's some pyramids of queens and sons and stuff like that. I think all of these blocks of granite used to be up there. Oh, 
all that time I kept saying to Jeffrey, but it's actually the Pyramid of Menkare. <laughs> uh, yeah, so thank you. Where you come from? Uh, USA. American forever. American forever. No, thank you. Uh, the guitar stuff. No, no, the picture. Yeah, everybody's always trying to get something for it from you in Egypt. It's, uh, it can be really uh, exhausting. <laughs> oh man. But now we're walking up on uh, the Pyramid of Khafre. And uh, yeah, Khafre is the one who they think may have, have, may have be the face of the Sphinx. And uh, yeah, this guy's still trying to show me things that I don't care about. <laughs> but uh, his name is Ali, his camel's name is Michael Jordan. So if you come to Egypt, remember Ali and Michael Jordan. <laughs> so this is the Pyramid of Khafre, where this is actually the second largest pyramid. However, it looks just as tall as the Great Pyramid when you look at it on the plateau because it's built a little bit higher. So it is just afternoon my last day in Giza I got to finish up here got one more pyramid to go through after this one and then I gotta go get checked into my hotel and after that I'm gonna head over to back down into Cairo and go to a place called Nilans which is one of the only places that you can get actual high quality Egyptian cotton sheets. And then I'm gonna go probably over to Khan El Khalili Market because I am looking for some Egyptian chamomile and some black pepper and some cardamom. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And then, and then tomorrow, I'm, Gonna head back into Cairo and go check into a hotel next to the airport. And uh, I'm only gonna be there to about half a day. <laughs> and then I'm heading out to the airport and flying home. And I gotta say, I really can't wait to get home. <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> So there's the Great Pyramid. So we got Great Pyramid, which was Khufu's Pyramid, Khafre's Pyramid, and Menkare's Pyramid. I don't know where I got to Jeffrey from. That's kind of screwing with my head. <laughs> but yeah, man, all of this used to be smooth. That it was just gorgeous a couple thousand years ago. Got this poor little buddy's here just being chained up. Sorry about that, buddy. <laughs> Welcome to Egypt. Ah, happy new year. Hi, you too. Come from. 
in the United States. Welcome to Alaska. <laughs> Welcome Thank you. I do have to say when they say welcome to Alaska that's that's absolutely humorous. Makes me laugh every time. <laughs> So over there, last time I was here, uh, over right behind the pyramid over there, there was a building that uh, housed Khufu's solar boat, or sun boat, uh, which they recently moved to the new museum that's getting ready to open this summer of 22. Uh, <laughs> And there's a pretty cool video about how they moved it and everything over there, but could you imagine moving a 5,000 year old wooden structure that's about half as long as the side of a pyramid? <laughs> it must have been absolutely crazy to do that. But yeah, that structure is no longer there. See, it? look over here, you see that how they carved out the stone over here on the plateau to make it flat to build Khafre's pyramid. It's pretty interesting. And then there's also the entrance into Khafre's pyramid right there. It costs a hundred pounds to get into the inside of the pyramid. I didn't pay. It cost 400 pounds to get inside that pyramid. I'm just... If I was here earlier in my trip, I would have definitely went inside all the pyramids, but uh, yeah, I'm just absolutely worn out and beat. Not really wanting to... Not really wanting to climb and duck waddle and all of that kind of stuff. Yeah, thank you. USA. Thank you. Yeah. This good movie. I'm going to go to the hospital. 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 I'm going
Right there is the entrance to the pyramid that was uh, blown into the side by a, uh, an explorer a few hundred years ago, and then that's the that's the original entrance there up up there. Got the stairs over here to get to the entrance. Uh, where, which leads to the yeah. Okay. I swear, man, these little vendors here are relentless. <laughs> So right there is where the sunboat was found buried. Uh, we're going to try to get closer to it. Oh man, this dude just keeps following me, annoying the hell out of me. No, thank you. You want to buy camel? <laughs> I don't want to buy camel. <laughs> and then we'll be later. Have you changed your mind? Buy camel called Moses. Okay. You everybody look you like Egyptian man. Good <laughs> between us. You come with the group and alone. I'm by myself. Nice to meet you, sir. Hey. Hello. This is my camel here, Moses. Oh, that, that's Moses, everybody. Uh, look, sir. Look, look, look. My name. Okay. Cal 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 Man. Okay. Nice to meet you. Where you come from? USA. American. I host Silver. Okie dokie. <laughs> Thank you. Nice. Look, sir, brother. Hey. So this is where the uh, sunboat of Khufu was, was found, buried. Uh, I mean, that thing is absolutely huge. It's like, you know, probably about a quarter of the length of the side of a pyramid. And, uh, yeah. Unfortunately, we don't get to see that on this trip. Uh, I'll try to pull up some pictures from the last time I was here. But, uh, yeah. It is now in the new museum. Well, I appreciate it, but thank you. Huh? I, I appreciate it, but thank you. Okay, but you have a ticket with you from here, so look. Go. Hey. Go. Here, you go inside from here. Okay, thank you. Same ticket you have. No, no ticket. Okay, thank you. And then maybe later you want to go to Camel? No. Carish? No, thank you. I'm not 100% sure, but this in front of us here might be the Osiris shaft. I'm not entirely sure where it's at, but this is, if it is, it's supposedly the tomb of the very first or the second god. Um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure. We'll see. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that might be it. Wherever it is, it's like the deepest shaft around. But, uh, yeah, so there's the Queen's Pyramids over here. I'll show you where the, where the Sunboat Museum used to be. And then we're gonna go ahead and head on out of here. And they are just relentless. Uh, they just won't take no for an answer. 
So right here is where the the museum of the solar boat stood until about middle of last year, 2021, when they moved it over to the new museum, right on the back side of the Great Pyramid. Yeah, this place has changed a lot since I was here six years ago. Although, <laughs> if anything, the, the vendors have gotten more relentless. <laughs> oh man, uh, they're making it. So I don't really want to be here and that's, that's unfortunate. That's something I think that uh, the tourism board here in Egypt should probably deal with. I mean, I understand they're just trying to make a dollar, but, but I mean, Come on, quit hassling us. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm way more likely to spend money with you if you're not bugging the shit out of me. Uh, so this was where another boat was found that it wasn't in quite as good a condition. But uh, yeah, it's 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 cool. You can see that there's a, a nice slope in the in the stone for it to sit in and then back over there there was a place for the for the hole to just kind of rest in so it didn't tilt over or anything like that really kind of fascinating <laughs> camels make the craziest noises <laughs> i love camels they're just amazing well, if you've enjoyed this video, please uh, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.